Hey Andy, did you know that even in a big city like Toronto, Canada, there are blue flag beaches? Blue flag what? Beaches? Ah, oh, don't worry Andy, Sarah Winterton will explain everything. Blue flag program got started in Canada in 2003. We're an environmental organization. Um, our head office is here in Toronto, but we work on issues across the country. We work on issues related to urban sprawl, how we live, what, what are the good practices we can employ to help build a sustainable city. We work on issues related to human health and toxic chemicals. Then we also work on beaches and uh, making sure that Canadians have uh, great beaches to swim at. Oh, I get it now. Sarah and her company are all about keeping the beaches in Canada clean and safe. That's it, Andy. See, when you have big cities built close to lakes, there are lots of things that can pollute the water, like garbage and sewage. And dirty water can make you sick, even if you just go swimming in it. If it's not good quality, then you might be at risk of contracting something like an earache or an upset stomach or diarrhea or something like that. Diarrhea? Gross! Don't worry, Andy. That's where Sarah and her team come in. We have a very good reputation for having great beaches. And certainly the ones that we've been working with in the Blue Flag program are of excellent quality. We first started looking at beaches in the Toronto area and we've now grown to have 15 beaches in Ontario and we're looking at beaches in Manitoba. Getting a blue flag for the beach sounds like it's pretty hard, Chuck. You bet, Andy. But people from countries all over the world are working hard to make sure we all have clean beaches so we can all have a great day at the beach.